Well, we've heard from our membership loud and clear, and that is that you need want enhanced value for your membership. Therefore, what we have done is we have, we have said this year that the theme would be your association is more than an annual meeting. To this end, your committees uh, and your officers have made many small changes in a hope that many small changes will in the future lead to big change. Let me just go through a few of these efforts that we've done this year. Uh, one, there's been a total remake of the website thanks to Aaron Green and the Technology Committee. Not only is it easier to navigate, but we have new video content, including the entire archiving of this year's meeting. We have added technique videos, and we're continuing to add technique, technique videos uh, for the rest of the year. So we ask you to, to please go ahead and forward those to us so that we can get them on the website. We also have put our first webinar on the site for those who have missed it, and all future webinars uh, will go on the site as well. And then finally, as far as the website is concerned, we have a Twitter feed that started before that will continue throughout the meeting and will continue afterwards. Our scientific program chairs, Steve Bernard and Rasal Jahan, will both be on the podium and they will be relaying uh, the Twitter feed, the, the better Twitter feeds to the meeting during the meeting as, uh, as there's lulls in the meeting during the scientific session. We initiated our webinar series this year. The first webinar, So You Want to Be a Program Chair. That was moderated by Greg Evans with panelists Linda Phillips, Scott Levin, David Song. Our next webinar will be hosted by new president Mary McGrath, and this will be an extension of our social media panel which will be on uh, Monday. This will only scratch the surface, I'm sure, on this very important topic. We'll be able to extend this uh, as we go on through the year. And then finally, we've had some other very, very interesting suggestions, uh, one being plastic surgeon as an entrepreneur. How can we integrate with the manufacturers? And uh, um, we will look at doing this as well. Our innovations program is ongoing thanks to Greg Evans, Juliana Hansen, and the Issues Committee. So any member of the association can now visit some of the uh, sites uh, of innovation, uh, units of innovation, and bring home new programs uh, to their home city. We've worked very hard in involving new members. New members are clearly the lifeblood of the association. Every new member was assigned to a committee this year. Uh, in fact, one of our new members was a committee chair. You can see the list here. Almost half of the new members participated and presented at Super Tuesday, and that was our ASPS, AA, AAPS symposium headed by Arun Gassain. Thanks to Greg Hedder and Fouad Nahai, we accepted a gift of nearly $150,000 from the Body Contouring Research Foundation this year. And this, this gift will serve to present an award on a biannual basis to a young investigator uh, presenting the best paper on body contouring in the two years. T. Sheng Chang was the George Washington of Chinese plastic surgery and unfortunately he passed away last year. The Ninth People's Hospital has set up the T. Sheng Chang Foundation, and they have asked to collaborate with us on this project. And what they would like to do is do similar to what we do with Europe's, and that is they would like to send their best paper from their annual meeting to our AAPS meeting, and they would like us to present our best paper at their annual meeting. In addition, they have agreed to fund a chi young Chinese plastic surgeon to come to the United States and spend six months visiting units in the United States. 
So certainly a, a means of us extending our footprint uh, internationally, very exciting. The consensus conference on lymphedema will be held on July 28th to July 30th, that sank, thanks to David Chang and Babak Maharera. An ad hoc committee, uh, exhibit committee, has been chaired by Paul Soderna. The short-term issue here, the short-term attempt, is to improve relations with our exhibitors, making the exhibitor, giving the exhibitors a better experience and giving our members a better experience uh, as well in the exhibit hall. Longer term, we hope that we can come up with some innovative ideas on an entrepreneurial approach uh, to industry. Our recent survey actually had some very, very good news. It looks like burnout really is not affecting members of the American Association of Plastic Surgeons. In this survey, we asked a number of questions, but one we said was, would you become a doctor again? And then another question was, would you become a plastic surgeon? And when we asked that, 90% of, of our members who answered the survey uh, responded in the affirmative. And then question number two, would you advise a son or a daughter to become a plastic surgeon? And again, this was a resounding yes with over two thirds of our membership uh, who answered the survey saying that they would encourage their son or daughter to become a plastic surgeon. So perhaps burnout is not an issue in plastic, in plastic surgery. And finally, we are very, very close to our goal of $5 million for our 110-100 uh, campaign. So I ask you to give generously, and I think it's very possible at this meeting that we could meet this target of, of $5 million. We're now at $4,700,000 and counting. If you prefer not to give to the 110-100, we also have other op opportunities for you. The Constable Fund is a, also a wonderful opportunity for you, and then finally, the Body Contouring Research Fund. So now I'd like to introduce uh, Dr. Steve Bernard and Dr. Rasal Jahan uh, to tell you more about this wonderful scientific program that we're going to have, and we're going to have a lot of fun. So Steve and Rasal. All right. I, um, <clears throat> can I get the next slide, please? I want to thank uh, our committee. Our committee is made up of 44 members. and. Uh, an awful lot of the work, at least by the committee, was done last fall. And what we did was, next slide. There we go. Um, what we did was uh, we had those 44 members go through 470 abstracts to come up with the scientific program for this year's meeting. It ended up being a total of 40 papers that are going to be a long format, which is eight minutes of presentation, and then um, uh, discussion afterwards. There were uh, a total of 23 that are going to be in the innovation section, formerly called libations. And then uh, finally, there are another 40 posters that will be judged uh, for uh, prizes and awards and stuff. We have about 500 people attending the meeting, and about half of those showed up for the symposium, so we have an excellent turnout. And um, one of the things we're doing, I just want to give you a short explanation about Twitter. We are actually going to try and get the audience to participate significantly through Twitter, which means that everybody has to set up an account. So that will be a little bit of work. We're going to go through the details of that tomorrow morning. But you set up an account, and then if you want your, your question to show up in our feed, you'll have to put the at sign with AAPS1921, and then we're going to go uh, use the questions from there. Um, Rizal is going to go into a little bit more detail about how we're going to run the scientific part of the meeting. Good afternoon. Uh, as Dr. Bernard has mentioned, that we are going to have a very uh, great scientific meetings. Uh, tonight, we're going to start with poster presentations. So we would like to encourage you to actually come and uh, participate in looking at uh, the hard works of uh, all our members or our residents who are presenting uh, the papers and, and the posters. It will be right by the exhibit hall. Uh, there are about 40 uh, posters that we would like to, you to see uh, the hard works of the residents and uh, the presenters. Uh, there will be two minute presentations on the posters. And tomorrow, we will also try to encourage on running a very tight schedule. We would like to be on time. Uh, the presenters will be presenting eight minutes, and then uh, the discussion will have opportunity to convey 
uh, a couple questions in two minutes' time, and then uh, the presenters will uh, give their response to the questions in five minutes' time. And in between, we will also try to convey the tweeting um, uh, comments from all of the participants. In this way, we would like to encourage all of the uh, audience to participate uh, in commenting about the presentations. Thank you very much.